Yes. The Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? I'm so exhausted this morning. Donkey of the Day for Thursday, April 8th goes to the new and first black head coach of the University of North Carolina, Hubert Davis. First of all, congratulations, Hubert Davis, on getting the drop, the job. Okay, drop on the clues bombs for Hubert Davis. All right, that is a very prestigious position for anyone to be in, but I know for a brother like Hubert Davis, who is a North Carolina native, uh, a brother like Hubert Davis, who actually played for the University of North Carolina, a brother like Hubert Davis, who's been an assistant coach at North Carolina since 2012, I know Tar Heel Blue means more to him than most, so salute to that king, okay? You deserve it, you earned it, and I truly wish you much success. Drop on the clues, bombs for Hubert Davis once again. Now let's discuss why we are all gathered here today. Hubert Davis had his first news conference since being named as head coach in North Carolina, and it's a historic moment, right? We just had Bishop T.D. Jakes on speaking about his new book, Don't Drop the Mic, and how the power of your words can change the world. So in a historic moment like Hubert Davis' first news conference since being named head coach, I'm expecting Hubert Davis to bring it and inspire young black boys and girls around the world and and, and make us all proud to be black. In moments like this, we have to remember what the late, great Nipsey Hussle said, the highest human act to inspire. The highest human act is to inspire, okay? In moments like that, when you're the first black anything, but especially the first black head coach of the University of North Carolina, you got to show your black ass, okay? You have to stand up there in all your melanated glory and let the world know that it is a privilege to be black and simultaneously scold these institutions and organizations for taking so damn long. Now, for the most part, Hubert Davis did that. Okay, he spoke to the significance of being the first black head coach in UNC history. He spoke to being one of the few black Division I head coaches all around the country. But at some point in the conversation, it went left. Or maybe it went white. I mean, right. Oh, hell, just play the audio. It's significant that I'm African-American and I'm the head coach here. Um, I know that in terms of Division I head coaches all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division I men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African-Americans. I know that it is significant that I'm the fourth African-American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African-American, but I'm also very proud that my wife is white and I'm very proud that my three beautiful, unbelievable kids are a combination of both of us. Did they ask him that? They did not. That I was, miss, un, I that I was unprompted. But I miss him. Hubert, what the hell was that? What the hell was that, <laughs> Hubert? Say it backwards, Leonard. Hubert, that was hell the what? <laughs> I'm happy that you are proud of your white wife, but what in the what does her skin color have to do with anything we are talking about right now? Does she have a name? <laughs> What's her name, Hubert? I'm sure that she would have preferred and appreciated a shout out by her full name over being labeled the white wife that you're proud of. Now, when she now when she walks into Dean E. Smith Center next season for basketball, that's how people are going to see her. There goes Hubert Davis with his white wife. Let me tell you something, Hubert Davis. You let Dr. Umar Johnson down. Hey, I appreciate you and I love you, but you are no use to me with that white woman on your arm. No, Umar, stop. <laughs> Umar, stop Whoa. now, Umar. We're not doing that. Let's talk to this brother with love. Personally, I don't have a problem with interracial marriage or interracial relationships. Love is love, right? It should be. But when you hear brothers like Hubert Davis say things like, you know, I'm proud to have a white wife. Play the clip. Is that one little clip? But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. When you hear brothers like Hubert Davis say things like this, it's like, do you love her? Or are you just proud to have a white wife? I mean, when you love someone, the benefits of loving someone is just that. It's love. You love a person. Emotionally, sexually, you love their personality. You just love them. But Hubert, you make me feel like you with your wife for status. It's hard to act like there isn't an element of status in your interracial marriage when you went out of your way to randomly tell the world in a press conference about you being the first black head coach of UNC, speaking to the significance of that, and you just randomly, out of the goddamn Tar Heel blue, decided to tell us you proud to have a white wife. Not I love my wife and whatever her name is. I don't even know her name. Okay, not I love my wife and whatever her name is. You said I'm proud to have a white wife. I mean, I'm proud to have a black queen, but only because of brothers like you who I feel have an internalized racist view of white people as superior, not just as people, but clearly as partners. Okay, Hubert, you know, you are powerful and you have status because you are Hubert Davis, not because you are married to a white woman. What kind of virtual signal signaling were you doing? 
Did you put a TS in the air like a bat signal and the TS stands for Taylor Swift? Were you trying to convince those white people in North Carolina that you're not one of them? That you wanted the good Negroes who love white people so much and you're proud to be married to one? Hubert, you got the job already. You don't have to conform and make white people feel comfortable anymore. Clearly, you and the work you put in are enough. We have to realize that, you know, you didn't get that job because you kissed white ass. You got that job because your black ass is qualified. Okay, play the Hubert clip again, just the proud of my wife part, please. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Why does that line make me feel like this? Why do I hear this song when I hear that line? The ooh -ah. Ooh, oh. I love my wife. Yeah. I love my wife. Yeah. Let's go ride a bike. Yeah. With my wife. Yeah. Ah. My wife's real young. My wife's real small. Let's yeah. go to the beach and play with a beach ball. Praise Jesus mm. God and my wife. Let's go to the beach and ride a bike. Ooh, I love yeah. my wife. I love my wife. Ah. That's Ooh, how I, I felt. That's how I felt when I heard that line. Mm -hmm. We could put a little stink on it. Let's hear it. Put a little stink on it. That's a, put a little remix on it. Let me hear it. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Ooh, I love my wife. Mm -mm. I love my wife. My wife is white. Ooh, I love my <laughs> wife. I love my wife. My wife is white. Literally. <laughs> wow. I have nothing else to say here, and neither does Dr. Umar. Negro with a white woman, you can't talk to me. <laughs> Dr. Umar, stop. Dr. Umar. Stop. stop. Goodness stop. Goodness Jesus gracious, Christ. Bro. Please let Remy Ma give Hubert Davis the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. You stupid mother Are you dumb. Who let Dr. Uma in here? I don't know. Jesus. That was aggressive. Christ. Can we hear that song one more time, though? Which one? <laughs> Which one you want now? You want the one with some mayonnaise on it? Give him the one with some mayonnaise on go. it, Dramos. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Ooh, I love my wife. I love my wife. My wife is white. Ooh, I love my wife. I love my wife. My wife is white. Literally. <laughs> Literally. I gotta learn how to say that. Literally. Right. Literally. Coon alert. Well, Dr. What? Umar, get out of here. <laughs> what the hell? This guy is crazy. He just comes out of nowhere. What is up with this guy? All right. Jesus. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.